What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here. Today I'm going to show you 10 hilarious ways to troll snipers in Battlefield 4. Now we're just going to kind of jump right into these. They're not in any particular order. I think they're all hilarious and each of you will inevitably gravitate towards the ones that you personally find the funniest. So with that said, let's just get started with the first and one of my personal favorites, Jet Road Kills. While flying jets into snipers parachuting down is pretty hilarious in and of itself, I'm actually talking about finding snipers that are laying down, doing their thing, camping somewhere, and here you come with a jet and scrape the ground with their body. Uh, it is extremely rewarding when you pull this off. <laughs> Now, if you're not familiar with flying jets around or whatever, it'll probably take you a number of tries to get the handling down and, um, you know, to where you can gauge effectively where the ground is in relation to your jet so that you don't just, you know, die by plowing your jet into the ground. But once you get that sorted, basically, you find snipers camping. Um, I play hardcore primarily, so what I'll do sometimes is... Uh, watch the map and I'll look for the little enemy Doritos to pop up and see You know kind of like where some snipers might be camping and as you'll learn throughout some of the others in this uh, video here There are typical places where snipers camp so you learn where those places are on the various maps And whenever you load on any given map at whatever point you just start watching your map and seeing where those Doritos pop up in some of those places and yeah so once you find them they're your target roll out with your jet get a jet road kill sometimes you'll get some hilarious responses from them in chat sometimes they'll get pissed off at you but <laughs> either way you know that they're not expecting it and if you've never had it happen to you with a jet that comes swooping in when you're just camping somewhere where it's quiet and nothing's going on way out in the distance and suddenly you just hear this loud jet engine and you're dead all of a sudden it's very startling so knowing the experience yourself makes it that much funnier next up we've got trolling snipers using the ballistic shield so with this one you try to find a sniper camping somewhere you roll up on them with the ballistic shield and you smack the shit out of them with it and if you get them in the head it's a one-hit kill so the the ballistic shield used to be a lot stronger than it is now in terms of using it to kill enemies if you hit them in the body it takes three hits so you want to try to roll up on them and smack them right in the face with it if you can if you hit them just right as well you can break the glass on the shield which is even funnier anyway um, if you like this method I have another video that I did a while back showing you how to use the ballistic shield for really sneaky and hilarious reasons so you can click here right now if you want to go check that video out all right, now, while many of you know that you can drop supply crates onto enemies and smash them, the funnest part for me is to do that whenever you're on a map that there's some elevation to it and you can really zoom in and see your enemy. Um, it, you know, if you're playing as commander, the, the standard view that you can keep zooming into is just seeing the little Doritos running around and whatever but you can actually zoom in to where you can see people running around and they look like little ants you know well if they're high up enough like on a building or somewhere like Lansang Dam like in this clip here whenever you drop a supply crate on them you get to see it smash them and every time it's a barrel of laughs for me another thing you might want to try is dropping supply crates on AAs that are camping or LAVs or tanks if they don't know that they can just shoot them you'll see them driving around like crazy because it obstructs their view and they'll be driving around trying to get the crate to like fall off or slide off and <laughs> if you've never done that before the first time you do it and you see it moving around oh uh, man I guarantee you'll be in stitches up next you get to have some fun with C4 now the idea here is that you pop some C4 where snipers tend to camp before they get there and then as soon as they arrive, you know, you kind of sit somewhere and watch for them. Uh, boom, you blow it. So this is one of my favorite ways to troll snipers. And while we are on the subject of camping, this was just a quick mention because a lot of people know about it and, you know, it's pretty self-evident. 
insofar as what it is, but camping spawn beacons of snipers. Now I don't like to do this just in the context of finding a spawn beacon to camp, because sometimes you'll sit there forever. What I like to do is find the sniper, you know, like maybe I run across the beacon first, and I'm like, oh, okay, here's a spawn beacon, well let me try to find the sniper that's around. Find the sniper, kill them, go over to the spawn beacon, wait for them to spawn, kill them, and then destroy the beacon. I like to do it like that because it's funny just to get them one time, you know, and then they'll maybe think, oh, I'm going to spawn back on there and I'm going to get you this time, and then they can't. So it's a good way to leave them kind of frustrated and definitely a more troll fashion to it, I think. So anyway, just a quick mention on that one. Next up, smoke. Use smoke. I use smoke like crazy on snipers. Me and Proc Zero, we run around, find a sniper, throw some smoke on them. Sometimes we'll just watch them crawl around there and be all confused, hoping it's not an enemy that just smokied them up. Uh, other times it's hilarious to, you know, maybe referring back to uh, one of the other methods where you put C4 in a spot before they get there. Uh, I like to do that and then wait for them to get there. And once they get to the spot, I'll pop some smoke on them, then blow them up with the C4. Or do whatever you want to do. But using smoke can be really hilarious. It's also fun to use on vehicles. Whenever you've popped some C4 on an AA or LAV or something, pop a little smoke on them. And you'll hear them back up, thinking they're going to get away from whatever, and then boom. So, smoke excellent for trolling snipers. All right, now this is one of my most frequently used methods for trolling snipers, and it's about as simple as it gets. You basically find a sniper, you sneak up on them, then you go prone, so you lay on the ground. You don't want to, you know, kneel down and move forward or whatever because the enemy can hear you doing that. So you lay on the ground before you get over to them, uh, crawl up to them, and then you crawl directly in front of their line of sight, right before you kill them. So they'll see you right before they die. <laughs> it's hilarious to know that they saw you right before they died. Now, the risk here is, you know, assuming you've done everything correctly to where you haven't given yourself away through any sounds, like the sound of you going prone, enemies can hear that if you're close enough, the sound of your repair torch, um, not whenever you're using it, but when you're just carrying it, you can hear the s sound of it. So for perceptive players, you can give yourself away like that. Um, but if you've done all that right, you still run the risk of crawling in front of them right when they are about to take a shot at whatever they're shooting out in the distance. And that bullet will hit you instead. Uh, which can also be funny, because when they realize that they've killed you, you know, sometimes in chat, they'll respond in a hilarious way. But anyway, this is a classic way to troll snipers and to let them know that they did not hear you or see you coming. Now speaking of sneaking up on them, this is another thing that I like to do with them. Instead of crawling in front of them, I will give them ammo or health, so you drop it to where it lands like on their head or directly in front of them. And if you do it just right, it will obscure their view so they can't see. And sometimes they'll just move over to where they can see, um, and they think you're just on their team giving them ammo or whatever, and then you just kill them. So you can shoot them in the head, you can knife them or do whatever, but giving them the ammo or the health first where they think that you're a friendly, um, you know, that's hilarious enough. But if you can drop it right in their face and you know that you've obscured their line of vision, for me it's just hilarious to know that there is another player sitting in front of their computer and I've just done that to them and they're just thinking like, what the fuck, man? Like, don't drop that shit in front of me. <laughs> and then you kill them right after they have that experience. And yeah, so anyway, <laughs> definitely a, a recommended method there. Now, going back to being commander, one of my favorite things to do is to find a smaller rooftop somewhere like this one on Siege of Shanghai. And when you see enough people up there running around, drop a supply crate, give them supplies, and then give them a cruise missile. So one thing that I like to do is when you see them running around enough, I will launch the cruise missile first because it takes some time for the cruise missile to get to where it hits, right? So I'll wait like 
until the cruise missile is maybe halfway to the destination and then I will drop a supply crate and you know just like flies to honey they'll come around it to resupply and then boom cruise missile hits you kill them all so to me that's worth the supply drop <laughs> you know you'll get a lot of players that are like oh nice job not supplying your team rah, rah, rah. but for something like this taking four dudes out on a roof it's pretty hilarious and it's helpful to your team right so anyway that's just another thing to add to your toolkit as commander to troll snipers and other rooftop campers in general up next is one of my favorite ways to kill snipers and it happens so rarely I think I've only ever done it like out of 1600 hours of gameplay maybe three or four times <laughs> <laughs> but so basically you go for pushing a sniper off of the rooftop or off of wherever they are with the MAV which you know that's easy enough but sometimes you can kill them with the MAV you get a road kill and when that happens it's absolutely hysterical because you get to hear the sound of the you know player dying or whatever and it just adds to the humor which sounds morbid but you know what I mean. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, this is just a short mention. You can use the MAV to do so many things, but primarily pushing snipers off of high places. Um, you know, if they're just high up off the ground enough, sometimes you can push them off, and then before they have a chance to realize they're falling and deploy their chute, they'll hit the ground and die. So, anyway, MAV, good for trolling snipers to no end. Last but not least, we have smashing snipers with helos. Now, this is a really funny way to kill snipers, and because I play in hardcore mode, I don't have the convenience of a third-person perspective. So I've gotten used to knowing where the sniper is going to be under my helo so that I crush them every time I try to do this. But it'll take you some practice if you don't have third-person perspective available to you. If you do, it's really easy to orient yourself in your helo in relation to where the sniper is. So anyway, the idea of this one is pretty simple. You hop in, you go smash the sniper where they're camping at. Now if you take a transport or whatever, inevitably you'll get it filled with people who will see the snipers and they'll start shooting at them. You know, the gunners will. So that doesn't tend to work out. So typically what you might have to do is uh, take the attack chopper or the little bird or something like that and if you've got squad mates, people you know or whatever, to where you can communicate with them and say, hey, I'm going to go smash this sniper real quick just to embarrass the shit out of them, you know, you might have to go that route. But anyway, uh, in this one scenario that I'm showing here where we found this one sniper, he just kept coming back to the same spot, so we kept smashing him and <laughs> it's very hilarious. Uh, I prefer doing the jet road kills over this, but you know, it's it's all funny. So anyway, this was just a quick top 10 list of trolling snipers, the ways that I like to troll snipers personally. And you know, this stuff can apply to more than just snipers. So, you know, basically the overall mission here, I think is just to laugh, to have fun, to get you thinking a little more creatively with the weapons and the vehicles that you have at your disposal and you know just have fun with the game. Battlefield 4 has ended up being one of my top 10 easily favorite games of all time and I've been gaming for like 30 years man so <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoyed the video check out some of my other Battlefield 4 videos especially the ones with me and Proxy Row running around you know laughing it up um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.